Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome. Another, it's a new week. Another uh, GP is on our hands and following the official calendar of uh, F1, we are going to travel to Austria. This is our GP event for this week, the Austrian GP, and we have some interesting tracks, uh, some raining, so um, we have uh, things to do and discuss, we have changed some of our strategies, so let's first get to see the tracks we are racing of course this video is for the qualifying round so we are going to talk about the qualifying round uh, tracks and three tracks we are racing twice in Spielberg Austria I don't think you want me to say uh, the GP as it's written in uh, German, in Austrian, German, one language, Rolex Grosser Preis von Osterich, okay, <laughs> this is once, never again, so Austrian GP from now on, and we are racing in Austria, of course, don't forget 10 laps this season, uh, the Spielberg GP, then Barcelona and Mexico, Barcelona with 50% chance of raining, no, uh, nothing to worry about tires, we don't have uh, temperatures above 30 degrees, so uh, we are okay with uh, our tires, and yeah, let's Let's start. Let's start uh, with our first track, which is Austria. I have uh, said it so many times. Austria reminds me of Bahrain. It's a very fast track. So, the, and a fast and small track. And keep that in mind because uh, small tracks, small and fast means uh, we have to think about our pitting, uh, thank God here the pit lane is fast, also fast, so we can do uh, an extra pit without uh, worrying. Now, it's the definition of a combo track, lots of mid, uh, lots of mid straights and lots of corners, but wherever you are wherever you start in at the back at the middle or at, at the top of the grid for me only two strategies uh, are to follow the fastest well in fact it's one strategy two pit stops three three four and for your other driver four three three to avoid stacking um, as you can see, my first choice is my first choice is Merlion, which is the best combo boost. Tune in, although <laughs> you are not seeing uh, me uh, writing tune in here. I did this because I wanted to have one boost from each option you have: a combo boost, a fast boost. Uh, a combo boost like Merlion which boosts speed and cornering Give me, okay uh, a speed boost like Street Shark Of course, a cornering boost like Koopa, which gives us a little bit of uh, a race start, of course, and an even more uh, 
a boost that its specialty is restart and here restart is very important in austria and this is why i'm showing you herald you can see here the 10 boosting in your restart so we uh in austria we need to be fast in straights in corners but a race start is very important because we can gain lots of positions in our opening lap this uh this track favors like bahrain it favors a lot uh being aggressive in your opening lap and having a good first lap so uh keep that in mind if you are not starting p1 p2 where i would use merlion if you are starting if you are starting uh, at the in the middle or at the back of the grid well uh koopa and herald and streets are your best choices you need to boost your uh, race start now if as i said you are uh in the middle of the grid or you are at the top of the grid merlion or tune in and tune in is the boost of uh, this uh, of this event it's a little bit worse than merlion but still a very good boost uh, and our only alternative combo boost uh, to merlion okay these are the two strat the one strategy uh, you need to follow this is the best one the fastest one wherever you start in the grid let's go now to our uh, second track barcelona where we might have rain okay if you are at the back especially at the back of the grid and in the middle of the grid in the grid 5-3 a very good choice use mainly cornering boosts in this track because we have a lot of corners and we want to be fast there the best strategy for wherever we are a strategy that suits every starting position is this 4-4 uh, with uh, the median the medium compound softs in the first stint maybe not an option not maybe not an option even in in higher uh, levels of uh, drivers because barcelona is a little bit tire consuming it's not like it's not like mexico or hungary where we can do the first stint with softs and of course if we start uh in the middle or at the top of the grid 332 two pit stops very fast strategy very good strategy so um my first choice would be uh even if i am at the top of the grid both of my drivers to go with uh two uh pit stops now if it rains then wherever we are in the grid we have only two options 5-3 and 4-4 probably 4-4 is the best strategy because all the bots all the bots are going to pit in the fifth lap too many traffic so if we can do 4-4 with both drivers it would be the best options alternatively we could choose to go uh three five it would be a good option uh, especially if you are at the back of the grid and you try to do the undercut now mexico a very similar track like barcelona okay we have two straights here instead of one but the main difference here is our tire degradation where we don't need a lot of tire management here we can do both stints we can do uh, five laps with medium as you can see we don't need hards 
so 5-3 if you are at the back or in the middle of the grid and here again one of the best strategies is 4-4 wherever you are in the grid but instead of medium medium we can choose to do soft medium and if you have even higher level of drivers then soft soft is easily done uh, i'm talking about level 7 ep level 7 epic series 11 drivers and higher easily soft soft both stints of course you can see here again our choices of boosts are cornering boosts because this is a cornering mainly a cornering track okay we have two straights someone could say maybe it's a combo track no most of it it's uh it's all about uh, cornering and of course if uh you are in the middle or at the top of the grid two pit stops mainly if you are at the top of the grid i won't lie if you are at the top of the, of the grid uh two pit stops easily done we have done it in our last event and it worked okay i can hear uh the voices that say yes but in order to avoid a bad safety car shouldn't we go for less pit stops yes we can easily uh start both our drivers with softs and after the race start we can decide if we are going two pit stops or one pit stops if we are doing two three three or three three two or we can change our strategy our plan and do four four soft medium or soft soft so uh very important our first lap if we found find ourselves at the top of the grid with p1 with a big gap then maybe one pit stop would be uh, a better solution okay uh yeah as always the qualifying uh video is has less uh we have less things uh to say so let's see again our tracks austria barcelona with 50 percent chance of raining mexico city and again austria to uh finish our qualifying round so i hope uh this was useful i hope you uh, enjoyed the video you liked it i hope we helped most of all uh, don't forget to give me your feedback beneath the video uh in the comment section and of course don't forget to tell us your results when you are using our strategies next video our live streaming of our qualifying round and of course more videos are coming so subscribe stay tuned and don't forget to smash the like button good luck to everyone i hope everybody qualifies for the opening and see you in my next video bye